Greetings of the day. Today, let us see the sounds of English vowels. First of all, I would like to thank the Department of English who organizes this one week online course on phonetics. I would like to thank the secretary of Aramugam Pillai Sitayamal College, Thiru N. Aramugarajan, the principal, Dr. Captain K. R. Jayakumar, the coordinators, Dr. V. Gurudev Rajan, Dr. Maria J. Adeline Monica, the technical coordinator, and all the organizing committee members. Before getting into the sounds of English vowels, let us see. Introduction. I am an Anglophile or your Anglophile. I am a lover of English. Of course, my dear students, you are also the lovers of English. Though we study phonetics in English language, English is an unphonetical language. Whereas Tamil is phonetic language. Whatever the letter is written, we use to pronounce the same. But in English, we do not do such pronunciation. See, there are many varieties of English. British English, American English, Australian English, Canadian English, Indian English, Philippine English, Ugandan English, also known as Uglish etc. You have heard about IPA. It's nothing but International Phonetic Association. It was devised by the International Phonetic Association in the late 19th century as a standardized representation of the sounds of spoken language. The IPA is used by lexicographers, foreign language students and teachers and linguists. You all know Daniel Chams. He is the father of English phonetics. He was a linguist and professor of phonetics at University College, London. And he defined a socially determined type of British English, which he labeled received pronunciation, RP, we call. And RP is used as standard for phonetic description and as a model for non-native learners, as we Indians. Airstream mechanism. Just a vision how a recollection. See, collection of water, that's what running stream we call. Collection of air in this atmosphere, it is called air stream. A pair of lungs pushes the air up and here there is larynx which is also known as sound box. The air which is pushed up is converted into sound by this larynx and this larynx is also called Adam's apple. The protrusion is seen mostly in boys. And the larynx consists of a pair of muscular frills called vocal cords. These vocal cords can be held apart or held closely here. The space between the two vocal cords is called glottis. There are three types of airstream mechanism. Pulmonic airstream mechanism, veloric airstream mechanism, glottalic airstream mechanism. In pulmonic airstream mechanism, pair of lungs acts as the initiator. The lungs pushes out. That is, this, when we pronounce the sound, when we pronounce the sound, air is pushed out. So, we use pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism. Then, veloric airstream mechanism, back of the tongue, velum is uh, velum acts as the initiator and in glottalic uh, that is glottis acts as the initiator most probably a glottalic veloric or spoken by this book sorry this airstream mechanism is used by 
the native speakers of uh, Africa, they use the back tongue, <laughs> like this, they use. There are two types of sounds, voiceless sounds and voiced sounds. Voiceless sounds are produced without vibration and voiced sounds are produced with vibration. For example, my dear students, just take this forefinger and keep it on your throat here and say S See, when we say S sound, there is no vibration. We cannot feel this vibration. And this sound is called voiceless sound. V L shortly called. And voiced sounds are produced with vibration. Just take this forefinger and produce the sound zzz, as the buzzing of the B is a sound. Zzz. Vibration is felt here. So this is called voiced sound. V D short form. So these are the differences. Uh, organs of speech already have studied uh, just a recollection uh, look at this diagram this is nasal cavity oral cavity uh, this oral cavity we could see upper jaw lower jaw lower jaw is of course the active articulator and upper jaw is the passive articulator upper lip lower lip then uh, teeth then behind the teeth, there is a bony part which is called teeth ridge or alveolar ridge. <clears throat> it can be felt with the help of this thumb or the tip of the tongue, the hard surface. And behind the teeth ridge, it is there present hard palate. And behind the hard palate, soft palate. Uh, anyway, our tongue curls and we can touch the soft palate, softness. Then behind the soft palate, we could see a uvula which raises the wall of the pharynx or lowers the wall of pharynx. Uh, this is the tongue divide divisions. There are four sections, tip of the tongue, blade of the tongue, front of the tongue and back of the tongue. Look at this larynx which consists of pair of muscular valves, ocal cards which is present in this uh, trachea which is also known as windpipe and food pipe here food pipe is also known as esophagus there are 44 sounds in english there are 44 phonemes in which we call again i shall we shall see this in next course